Hey guys, let's talk about tonight's episode of How to Get Away with Murder, and oh my god, I mean, do I start from the beginning? You kind of have to, but how do you not talk about that ending first? What? Oh my god, okay, so we finally get to the day that Sam is murdered, and it's bananas. Okay, first of all, that opening scene between Annalise and her husband was so disturbing. Oh my God, I didn't like it at all. They were so mean to each other. And those things he said, oh my God. I mean, we knew from last week's episode that Sam was really not a good guy. But man, ouch, that opening scene was just, ooh, it was not good. I did not enjoy it at all. It was awkward to watch him like putting his hands around her throat then him basically calling her a whore and a slut and that she was basically garbage and that he knew he was going to get lucky with her. Oh, it was just so vile. I mean, she wasn't uh, as sweet as pie either, but ooh, that opening scene was not pleasant to watch. Um, so we quickly bas dive into this episode. And we all know from last week's episode that... Um, Michaela stole the trophy from Asher and uh, when she brings it back to um, Annalise's house it's just her and Sam and obviously Annalise has left since they had this big fight and he's like what are you doing here she's like oh I just came I need to talk to Annalise I'll wait and then and then all of a sudden Rebecca shows up and she's very creepy she goes up the stairs and uh, basically a fight ensues between her and Sam and Michaela doesn't know what the heck is going on and she calls Wes when um Rebecca hightails it upstairs because she's got the USB key that she got from Nate from last week's episode and she wants to download all the information that's on his laptop so she locks herself in the bedroom he barges through the door Michaela's screaming she's frantic uh Wes is on the phone and and Wes is with um, Connor and Laurel and he's basically telling them that Sam is the one who killed Lila and that Rebecca went to go confront him so it's like the cat is out of the bag everybody basically knows what's going on except for Michaela she doesn't know at this point she just sees the the two of them running upstairs and they're you know he's screaming through the doorway so finally Wes gets there with Connor and um and Laurel and then they all confront Sam in the bedroom. Rebecca's still locked in the bathroom. She's downloading all of the information off the laptop. Wes is like, you just need to calm down, uh, Sam, and once you do, we'll leave. And then Rebecca comes out of the bathroom, and then Sam's all like, yeah, it's all good. You can go. I'm not going to stop you. And then he lunges at <laughs> Rebecca, tries to take the USB key from her, freaks out. Everybody's screaming. Everybody's running out of the room. And Michaela, of all people, <laughs> lunges. Is Sam over the banister and he falls like face first onto the ground. You hear this crack, his legs fly up over his head. Disaster. So everybody's standing around, can't believe what's happened. We think he's dead, wouldn't you? And so now they're trying to figure out what to do. They're freaking out. You know, Michaela can't believe she's just pushing, but she's basically saying, look, I was protecting Laurel. Everybody is protecting each other and it's a disaster. Then Rebecca gets up and all of a sudden she she's out of the scene. And the next thing you know, Sam is choking the hell out of her. Sam, hello, you just escaped death. You might want to just relax. But no, he lunges for Rebecca. She's on the ground. He's got his hands around her throat. This is the second person he's tried to strangle in a night. Not cool. And then all of a sudden he gets bashed over the head. And who does it? Wes. Okay, can I just say that Wes was a little too cool, calm, and collected for somebody who just murdered somebody. And he was very, you know, okay, we need to do this, we need to do that. He wasn't even panicked. I was like, really? Okay, like you just murdered somebody. So now we're basically picking up where we've been getting all of those tidbits of information over the last seven, eight episodes. Um, and we get all of the scenes piecing together from when he's he's been killed they they leave you know um west takes rebecca to the hotel room the other guys go to the to the forest 
and then they decide whether they're going to burn the body or not. Now, before they do this, when Wes is walking, I guess he's walking back from, I feel like he's walking back from Rebecca. And all of a sudden he's having the, these thoughts and then he goes back to the house. He picks up the trophy and then he's standing over Sam's body and he says, I'm so sorry. And then it cuts back to something else. But we don't see anything else from there. And now we all remember in a couple episodes ago that Wes lied to everybody when he said it was heads, that if it was heads, they would they would leave the body. If it was tails, they would go back to get it. And we all know he lied. And you're like, why is he lying? What is up with Wes and his shadiness? And we find out exactly why by the end of the episode. So all this is great stuff. Annalise leaves the house. She goes to see Nate. She's crying. She cries a lot, actually, but she's crying. She had a big fight with her husband, and she's explaining to, to Nate that he was right all along. He, she believes that Sam killed Lila, and, you know, she can't believe she's been protecting him, and, you know, she's going to get in trouble for all this, and he lets her into the house. They totally have sex. And I was just kind of like, man, you... Like, all these movements in this night are crazy. You just got basically strangled by your husband. You ask him to kill you. He doesn't. You leave. You go see your lover. You guys have sex. Uh, just so awkward. <laughs> so all that is happening. Um, Bonnie's hooking up with some dude in a bar. Then she goes to call Asher, which we saw in a flashback earlier. They totally hook up. And, of course, we all know that Asher went to the house, banged on the door. They all ignored him. And he left. And then him and Bonnie hook up. And we already saw that in the flashback. Um, and of course, she says, nobody can find out that we hooked up. And he's all like, no, nah, that's cool. Like, I'm not going to say anything. And Rebecca is in some hotel room. And when when a couple episodes ago, when she was when she confessed to Wes and she was like, you know, I did it. I, I He was going to kill me. That's why I killed him. And blah, blah, blah. What? what you find out now in this episode is she's basically saying what she would say to the police because she knows that Wes protected her in that moment and now she's trying to save him. So she's like, I'm already on trial for murder. I might as well just confess and be done and save you because he's the one who actually did it. So everybody's had a hand in this murder of Sam except for Asher and Bonnie and of course Annalise. Um, so it was interesting that, you know, Rebecca is finally trying to do something nice to actually help Wes out. So, you know, we, 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 we see them burn the body like we had seen before. Then they take it to the garbage and, and in the, all these little garbage bags, um, Michaela has lost her wedding ring. They throw the garbage bags in the dumpster and Wes is like, no, we need to go to the incinerator. And they're all like, no, it's not going to happen. I'm like, really? You've gone this far. Why not just finish the deal because <laughs> we all know that this is gonna completely come back to bite them in the butt so of course everybody's now played a hand in this Michaela had her freak out uh Connor's had his freak out moment now everybody is basically I don't want to say cleaning up their mess but they're dealing with the aftermath now and Michaela goes to see her soon-to-be mother-in-law and basically gives her the prenup that she was asking for in last week's episode and signs it. Um, Connor went to his lover Oliver's house or his ex-lover Oliver and was banging on his door. And we saw that a few episodes ago that he, he messed up and he screwed up and, you know, he's so sorry. And then he asks him, what's up? And then he says, you know, he was high last night and he's addicted to drugs and he's, he's got drug issues and then he leaves. And, um... Wes, we didn't really see any follow-up from him, but we already know that he went to see Rebecca. Um, so now they've all been summoned back to uh, Annalise's house. Oh, one more thing happened, uh, which is important, that Laurel went to see Frank and basically took the trophy to him and said, listen, I stole this from Asher. He can't find out that I took it. Can you please put this back and cover up my tracks for me? So she basically enlists Frank in this and he does. He thinks that he's doing a, a favor for her and he basically owes her one because he lied in last week's episode about having a girlfriend. That's why she's all in a big huff and puff about him. So my whole thought when they covered, like when they took buried Sam in the rug or they rolled him up in the rug, I'm like, 
isn't Annalise going to notice that the rug is missing? Like, what? where did that rug come from? Like, it was just so weird and random that they just took a rug that was in the house and they're not replacing it. So isn't she just going to notice that? Wouldn't Bonnie notice that? Wouldn't Frank notice that? So I thought that was a little strange. Um, so now we get back to the house and everyone's wondering why they're there. And they're basically like, the jig is up. She knows something's up. And Bonnie comes in and she's like, the reason you're all here is because Annalise wants to talk to you. Something happened to Sam and the cops or, and then the doorbell rings. And then she's like, that must be the police. So they're all like, uh Oh, and of course, Asher comes in and he's like, you guys are all a bunch of liars. They're all looking at him with the, like the crazy eyes. And he's like, I saw you guys were all at the bonfire. So fine. Their alibi is working for their favor right now. And then Annalise comes out. She's in her robe. She doesn't have her wig on. She's all like disheveled. She's been crying. And she basically says, look, guys, you're here because Sam and I got into a big fight last night. And he was having an affair with Lila. And uh, so the police are going to ask you a bunch of questions. I need you to basically cooperate with them and give them anything you know. And she looks down at Wes and she gives him this look and he, she's like, can you do that for me? And he looks up at her with his little puppy dog eyes. And he's like, sure, anything for you. And all, this, all of a sudden we get this flashback to the moment when he walked into her house and picked up the trophy next to Sam's dead body. Now, when this episode was playing out, I was like, how is it that they're just walking into Annalise's house? She hasn't returned back home. This just seems really weird that she would have been gone all night. That's what I was thinking in my mind. And then all of a sudden he says what he said, which is, I'm so sorry. And then all of a sudden you hear this voice, don't be. And you cut, you turn the camera. <laughs> and Annalise is sitting at the desk and she's there. She sees her husband is dead. And that's it. What? So that means earlier on, before all this went down and everybody was sort of kind of clearing up their tracks or they were, or, or they, this is when they were dumping the body, Annalise calls Sam and she leaves him a voice message basically saying, I'm sorry that we fought. I really want to work on this marriage. Um, I, I apologize for all the things I said. And I was sitting there going, really? You apologize for all the things you said? He basically called you a whore. He called you garbage. He called you trash. I'm like, you're apologizing to this man? Whatever. So clearly, if she made that phone call after she saw his dead body, she's covering her tracks. And I was like, oh my God, this is brilliant. So she leaves this long detailed message about how much she loves her husband, how much she wants things to work out and blah, blah, blah. So she sees that he's dead. She basically tells Wes it's all good. And so that is why he lies. That is why he then brings everybody back and they cover up the body. Like they take the body, they go and they burn it. What? Oh my God. I was not expecting that. I honestly was not expecting Annalise to be sitting in the office. I thought maybe she would have found out, but at the same time, that's crazy. And of course, we also got that um, scene where she calls Bonnie and Bonnie's with Asher and she's basically, um, you know, asking her if she knows where Sam is. She hasn't seen her. So clearly she's calling her knowing that Sam is dead because it's morning when she calls her and it happened at night when she saw Wes come into the house. There are just no words. So did Annalise go to Nate and have sex with him after she saw the body? I mean, it's so disturbing. I just don't know. I just don't know. My mind was like, what? I was going back and I'm like, wait a second. So did this happen before or after? Did she know? Did she? And then she did this and she did that. She did that. I was like, oh my God, this woman is crazy in a good way. So... Wes and her are now thick as thieves, knowing all of this information and nobody else knows. I cannot believe this. Crazy. Now this is the winter finale and to me that was a solid episode because even though we got, you know, a lot of um, the episode was piece like scenes that we had already seen, they were still giving us tidbits that we didn't know about. So that I thought that was still very good and it helped. Um, the episode move forwards but at the end Wes destroys the USB key and Rebecca's like what the hell and she's like so it was all for nothing and he was like don't think about that <laughs> it's just like 
How can I not? The whole reason I went to the house was to get the USB key. The whole reason that Sam is dead is because he attacked me because of this USB key. And now we're all in this predicament because of this USB key. So it's like, Wes was a little too calm in this episode for me. And I was like, dude, have you been on this road before? When you told me that your mother died when you were a teen, did you kill her? Like, I'm like, what is up with Wes? <laughs> anyway, solid episode for me. I really did enjoy it. And um, wow. So I guess we have to wait like a month until it comes back after the new year. That'll be a sad, but good cliffhanger nonetheless. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of this week's episode. Uh, yeah crazy. All right, guys, I'll see you when the show returns in like a month and a half. Bye.